Yo boys and girls, skrrr, Marcel Kiefer here and today I've got for you another video. Today it's about racecraft, well it's not really a tutorial but I will tell you what I did in this race. It's a 5 lap online race against you guys live on my Twitch channel and it's the last to first challenge. And I will tell you a bit of the insights, what I was thinking when I went for moves, how I prepared them and so on and so on. So let's get into it. So at the beginning of a race, I usually just um, have a look first, take a step back. <laughs> Whilst I say that I lose the car nearly. Um, but I take a step back and look where could I benefit, what are the others doing, how are they messing up their lines. And as you can see here, it's a pretty easy overtake just going down the inside of the Mercedes. Um, for the next corner, I do the same with the Renault, but do a little bit of a fakey here. And then he gets tagged from the racing point, which also makes him push me a bit off the track. But that's fine, we still go past. Um, we're still alongside into this corner, which compromised my line, but the Ferrari also makes a little mistake and tries to go down the inside of the Alpha, which makes us go around the outside, where we can carry a bit more momentum than usually. Um, in longer corners, it's actually beneficial to go d around the outside to carry more momentum. Here on the Alpha, I see, okay, he's breaking relatively early. I can't surprise him because he leaves the door open and we just wipe through. So sometimes it's also good to surprise your uh, rivals on track. And here I have to relocate. Um, and reapproach everything. With the racing point, I try to compromise this line down the straight, which I also do, um, because we can get a little bit of a slingshot. Um, we also go past the Williams because he messes up his line, but I actually decide to not use my ERS. You can see it's fixed setup in this open lobby, um, and the racing point is pulling away, so he's clearly using overtake, and I don't, because I want to save it for a bit more um, tactical advantage at the end of the race. Um, but we can actually go through here without using too much ERS, just a tiny bit. Getting a little bit of a better run, a slingshot and that's it. Down the inside, a move done. For the next move, it's actually a bit more tricky because I have to see what they are doing. Because they are fighting, so I actually can benefit from it. But at the same time, I can get hold up and also get set back for the rest of the race. So you really have to be smart with what you're doing behind other cars that are battling. And I can see I can get a better run on the Alpha Tauri. I go down the outside, uh, around the outside, break earlier, and then do a double switch back, which is super difficult, but it can work. And as you can see, I'm extremely happy uh, with that move because it was a really cool move. Um, it's like a 200 IQ cell moment. <laughs> and from here on, we have to do the same thing like with the racing point, just with the McLaren, what we did the lap before. But this time I actually used ERS. I should have used it a bit longer here. I stopped using it because I thought I'm not going for a move, but then I said, okay, I'm close enough. And I don't want to lose too much time in the first sector. So we go for a move. We had to use a bit more ERS, so that was a bit unfortunate. And we actually made a little bit of contact. That was my bad because I touched the curb on the inside, made me understeer into him, but nothing big happened. Just a little bit of an error. Sorry at that point <laughs> to him, didn't want to do that. And now to get at least a shot at the podium, we need to catch up quickly. But we can see P4 does a mistake and we just swipe through. No issue at all. And the next battle, I take two laps to catch up to Agent Engel, um, which is a really good driver. He's also a league racer. And we skip to the final lap where I fake a move because it's nearly impossible. We are low on ERS. Um, just the final sector remains and we have to force them into a mistake to go past um, and we try our best here I go wide and then get a better run out um, but he closed the door on the outside I thought there would be a gap then it wasn't there I fake it again to go down the inside he has to defend and with that it compromises his whole line through the chicane and we actually get a run down until the straight and it's a photo finish it's super close and we actually overtake him here but the game sets us back for some reason and we are still ahead with the two second time penalty P3 in the end and that was a good race. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe for free because it's for free. You don't want to miss out on free stuff, right? So please do that. It would really support my channel and um, me. And if you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below or check out my Twitch channel, which is also in the description. You can ask me questions live and I will see you in the chat. Until next time, peace.